everybody in the world. There's no nigga alive that can talk to me like my nigga Shiz talked to me. Yo, I called Shiz one day, right? I called Shiz one day out the blue. I'm like, yo, Shiz, listen, bro. I need you to. Nigga said, what's up? I don't know about that bullshit you about to say. So how you, get, how you get started with the music, man? I mean, this rap shit, man. I do this rap shit in my sleep for real, man. But with, with, with what happened this time, like when I came home from the feds, my cousin Rich Kid, right? My cousin Rich Kid, he had the studio. And he was like, yo, um, what'd he say? He was like, yo, man, dollars, man, I need you to come to the studio. I need you to drop something. So I took a, to be honest, a lot of people don't know this, right? I'm going to tell everybody, I'm going to tell everybody how this monster shit happened. I wrote the monster freestyle in like 2011 when I was in, I, I got, when I, before I got indicted. Like I was in, I was in county, I was down Supermax and uh, I, I just was thinking about the shit and I writes the freestyle in 2011. I spent the freestyle in 2012 when I was on, um, I was on pre-trial, I was on House of Res, you know what I'm saying? I was on Bond and I spent the shit for, for a promo DVD. So then in 2004, I came home in 2014, 2015, I go to, um, I, re I record it. It just so happens at the time, Meek Mill mm -hmm. had a song called Monster. So not, even, that song not even thinking, I took the beat and I just put the verse over the beat, not realizing that I was already saying the shit that he said on that song four years prior to the song came out. So I think it was a Wednesday, not for nothing, it was a Wednesday. I, um, I go to the studio with my cousin Rich. He was like, yo, bro, I need you to start back rapping. Now, mind you, I come home from prison. I'm big as shit. I want to be a fitness trainer. I ain't even thinking about rap. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, yo, man, just come in there. And, you know what I'm saying? Come in there and drop the joint. So on a Wednesday, on the com, I go in there. Wednesday afternoon, I drop the song. That Saturday, I shoot the video. You know what I'm saying? For the monster. I go to the hood. Tell niggas like, yo, I'm going to the hood shooting the video. I drop the video. Me and my brother Esco, we just go to the hood. Regular day. Go to the hood, shoot the video. The whole hood outside, it's a beautiful day. I think it's uh, Memorial Day of 2015. Skull as well, was it Memorial Day? Yeah. Like Memorial Day 2015, we dropped the joint. Now this is my first video. You don't do like 1,500 views in a week. Now that's something to me, cause I don't rap. Damn, that's great, nigga. My first video I ain't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Week. My first video, my shit do, <laughs> my shit do 1,500 in a week. So I drive the whole hood crazy. Everybody like, yo, yo, woo, woo, woo. Yo, this Bobby Dollars monster, yo, he got bars with the rock whoop. So that come out. Then after that, it was over. So that freestyle got me, that freestyle was getting me booked for shows with no project out, just off the freestyle. So then I look at my brother, I said, yo, I think it's time, man. Cause my brother's, my brother, my, my brother Esco and shit, them niggas like, yo, the whole time I'm in prison, them niggas like, yo, bro, you gotta come home and do that. I'm like, man, I ain't doing that, man. But then my old head told me, Free Tommy Highs too. My nigga Tommy Highs just got his appeal too. Tommy Highs, he got 10 in on the 20. He got his appeal court date coming up uh, in December, like December the 15th or something. Trying to get some of that time back to the feds. My nigga Ish got two point reduction off the crack log, you know what I'm saying? So he gonna be home sooner than later too. Yes, but I, I digress, you know what I'm saying? So how you come up with the name Bobby Dollars, you know what I'm saying? I got my name on the streets, man. The streets just, you know, I was always about a dollar, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why they call the boy Bobby Dollars because I always been about a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Like. Since I was little, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to, I used to go to Sam's Club with my grandma and I bought, um, I used to buy blow pops and airheads, sell them shits, like put the four together, sell them for a dollar or a quarter a piece. You know what I'm saying? So I always been dollars. I got my name out the streets before rap, you know what I'm saying? So, so what's, what's the type of uh, music you make, like lifestyle of music you right now focused on? Right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm back to getting that bread. Like right now, everybody on this get high rap. I ain't getting high, I'm getting money, you know what I'm saying? So. Right now, like, I talk for the streets, but I can talk about anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a song called uh, Insurmountable. I thank my girl, basically, for being there for me. No, I'm lying. Uh, Endless Love, I'm sorry. Endless Love was a song I wrote about my girl being there for me when I was in prison, you know what I'm saying? She did the whole bed with me day for day. She wasn't even my girl when I left. She was just my home girl, but through time, she became my girl, so, you know. Like, speaking of prison, man, you know, would you mind sharing that with the fans out here watching you right now? You know, what, what caused you to get incarcerated? Man, listen, man. I was out here chasing that book, you know what I mean? That fast life and that fast lane, you know what I mean? Fuck, fuck. I could curse. Do what you want to do. It's Chessy Boy TV, Chessy nigga. Boy TV. Shout out Chessy Boy, too. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I fuck around, you know what I mean? I call myself trying to be a dope boy, man. I want to fuck around. You know what I mean? Like everybody else try to get that money, man. And the motherfucking game ain't set up for us to win. Know that. Before you jump out there, I, I'd advise you go read them federal guidelines and realize that if you get caught with this, that come with that. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the boss? All right, you get a four-point enhancement for leadership, bro. Look that up. 
You know what I'm talking about? I mean, I'm just out in the streets. Like everybody else trying to do what I'm trying to do. Man, man, I got the paperwork in the bag. You know what I'm talking about? I'm showing y'all niggas what's up. They know me, man. Oh, I almost fell. You know what I'm saying? This is my tape out right now. You know what I'm talking about? The realest back. When I came home, I said I'm the realest. I said I'm the realest, man. So the realest was back. You know what I'm talking about? That's my real federal paperwork on that thing. You know what I'm talking about? They made my federal indictment. You know what I mean? I said I wanted to be a goddamn dope boy. They said we got somewhere for you to go. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to put you where we put all the other dope boys at. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? They came and got me. They sat me down. Gave me some time to think. You know what I mean? So, I, that's what I'm going to tell y'all about prison, man. You want to be a dope boy, know what that come with, man. Know what that come with, man. Your favorite rapper, a fucking liar. He out here telling you, he telling you about all this shit he do. He don't tell you. He telling you about keys. He don't tell you that if you get caught with so many keys, it's a five-year mandatory minimum. Then when you get caught with this many, it's a ten-year mandatory minimum. And the only way you can get under that shit is if you tell. So, what type of music inspires you? You know, to, you know, to really jump off that porch and really start making your own music. You know, growing up as a, as a kid. I'm saying, I'm from the era where it was about bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come, I come up under. You know what I'm saying? We like Beans, Jada, Raekwon. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a fan of Gotti too. You know what I'm saying? Gotti, Jeezy, like that dope music when they was talking about that work. You know what I mean? We was out here doing, what we was doing, we was out here doing, what we was doing. So I was just inspired by. By the trap, you know what I'm saying? They was talking about the trap. Come on, come on. That's what I, I mean. That's what I was into, the trap. But I like bars too, you know what I'm talking about? Like anytime somebody putting them words together and that shit really rocking, that's what it is. Man. So, so where Bobby Dollars originally from? You know, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, man, North Philly, man. 20th from Wing and Hawking, nice town. 18th from Rockland, 18th in the bucket, man. You know what I mean, I'm from Philly, man. Yes, but shout sir. out to Wilmington, though. Don't ever know from North Philly to Port City, man. 215 910, man. Nine Dime, man. Wilmington, North Carolina. Castle Street from the Dime. You know what I'm talking about? The Dime from the original Jervey. You know what I'm saying? For they put condos there. Yeah. That boy. So, where Bobby Dollars, you know, can see itself at, you know, the next five or ten years right now? Uh, listen, man. I'm about that bag, man. Bobby Dollars gonna get some money, man. I don't give a fuck if I gotta buy a pencil for, for a penny and sell it for a nickel, man. Bobby Dollars about that money. It ain't with me. I do this rap shit because I'm good at it. But I tell you right now, if you got a line in Idaho on potatoes, I sell French fries now, baby. You know what I'm talking about all you gotta do is show me where the money at, and that's where I'm going. So Bobby Dollars gonna have some money. That's what's that. up, man. How you feel about the radio stations right now, worldwide? You know, far as supporting independent artists. Which version you want? <laughs> I want it all. I want the Bobby Dollars version. Man, it's a lot of sucker shit going on out here, man. These niggas, man, niggas is, listen, man, niggas is riding big dick to get on, man. Niggas <laughs> even, I'm listen, man, I ain't, like, listen, certain radio stations fuck with me. Shout out to Coast 97.3 and Big B, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, DJ Beast of God, because they rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to, it's a couple niggas that's rocking with me, but, you know, shout out to Mike Lane. But other than that, man, these niggas out here riding big dick to get on. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if I can say certain shit because I don't want to expose a lot of behind-the-scenes shit that's going on just in case they do decide to play my record, you know. I don't want to tell, you know what I mean? Tell exactly. Man, there's something right here I never asked no artists on Chaser Boy TV, man. How you feel about the dress code of hip-hop right now? You know, it's kind of moving this way, that way, that way. You talking about niggas wearing leggings and shit? Man, whatever you want to put it out there. I, I'm, just, I'm just asking, like, what you talking about? You talking about niggas wearing leggings? The, the dress code, the dress code, period. Is, I mean, I mean I how you, you feel talk, about it? I, I, mean, I don't know if you talking about the purple hair or the niggas wearing leggings. The purple hair, the leggings, fuck it, all of it. Man, listen. All right, man. Like, you know what I mean? See, this nigga want this. All right. See, this is why I'm fucking you on Chessy Boy TV, I, I'm on Chessy Boy TV. This ain't like the other interviews. I fuck do. no, right, nigga. Cool. He want to ask no. me. I, listen, I feel like, listen, man. Nah, we 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 control our own wave right now, listen, man. Listen, man, you know it's certain man? shit you supposed to leave for your girl, man. It's certain shit. Stop shopping in juniors and stop shopping. You niggas. Stop shopping at Forever 21. You niggas, stop shopping at Forever 21. <laughs> you niggas is shopping at Forever 21. You niggas is wearing motherfucking girl pants. You niggas has got purple hair. You know what I'm saying? I tried to like, when it was when it was, when it was one or two niggas, it was like, all right, that's him. But now niggas is wearing skirts. Niggas is wearing kilts and motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, thongs and boy shorts and shit. I'm not that boy. I'm not, you know, nigga told me, I, nigga told me I'm old because I wear clothes that fit, so... You know, I, I'm just not wearing no leggings, man. I'm I not, mean, I, I run, into a, I run into a lot of guys, man. You know, you're a real strong brother, you know what I'm saying? 
good good strong powerful conversation we had earlier today yeah, yeah, definitely. you know i'm gonna uh touch on this topic right here man do you think it's illuminati out there or some higher power controlling this game right now Hey, listen, man. If they come get me, man. You better come get me, Chesley boy. You better get me. Nigga, they come get me. You better bring that chopstick and make sure we get up out of there, nigga. Um, do I believe? Listen, man. I believe. I pardon my lexicon because I'm getting ready to get real. You know what I'm saying? Into it, man. Um, I believe there's an esoteric agenda controlling a lot, man. The word Illuminati means, you know what I'm saying, the word, the root word is illuminated. So that just means it's a few people that know a few things. There's an elite group of people that know shit that the rest of us don't know. And they keep it that way, you know what I'm saying? To control to control the finances, to control the perception of people, you know what I'm saying? I do believe that there's an elite group of people that... I mean, it's, it's simple mathematics, you know what I'm saying? 1% of the world's wealth controls... I mean, 1% of the world's population controls 10% or uh, 90% of the world's wealth. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, there's a group of people that... Got more money than the rest of us niggas, and they wanted that way for a reason. So, so if they step to you, you know, you willing to do what it takes? Fuck you, mean nigga. Hey, <laughs> I don't know, man. Listen, man. It's a lot of it's a lot for of real, people man, right listen, now man. out there. I'ma you know, real, man. they doing whatever for the dollar. You know what I'm saying? Real, for real, I'm gonna be real, man. I mean, I can I can kind of talk to you about this because. You kind of know what's going on out here. A lot of brothers I run into, they don't really know what's going man, on. No joke. So I, I never got a chance to be this real in an interview with an artist. Listen, man, for real, for real, man. These niggas, man, I know shit, man. I know shit. Like, it's niggas that get blackballed. When niggas don't want to do gay shit, when the black man doesn't want to emasculate himself for money, because there's an agenda to emasculate the black man. If you notice, every time a black man emasculates himself, he goes to another level. You got to realize, Wesley Snipes wore a dress. Will Smith played a homosexual. Denzel Washington never did those things. Even, uh, uh well, who, who was it? It's a lot of dudes, man. Once you, Kevin Hart put on a dress. David Chappelle wasn't willing to do that, and they said he was crazy. You see what I'm saying? So, once you have morals and integrity and principles, and you don't move off that, they call you crazy because a population of people, we so money hungry, so people believe you're supposed to do anything for money. So, a lot of these niggas out here, and I'm on.